In this video, we are going to talk about propagation of signal through nerve. This is one nerve cell that is a neuron. We will look into detail of the neuron to understand the propagation of signal. Now, looking into the membrane of the nerve cell, that is a neuron. The outside the cell, there are more positively charged ions such as Na plus are present making the outside of the cell positively charged and negatively charged ions such as PO4 minus and proteins that is negatively charged makes the inside of the cell negative. There are some channels present here to exchange the positive and negatively charged ions and this position is called polarized state or resting membrane potential. Now there are different types of channels present here. One type of channel is leak channel or passive channel which are always open and exchange the ions according to their uh, concentration gradient. Second channel is ligand gated channel which have receptors for ligands. The ligands may be neurotransmitter like acetylcholine. When, they, uh, the, when the receptors are attached to ligands they get opened. Now voltage gated channels, these channels are opened by the change of the voltage of the membrane that is uh, uh, arrangement of positive or negative charges around the membrane. Now the sodium and potassium pump or mechanically gated channels, these channels are uh, opened by ATP usage and they attaches three sodium and transfer 3 sodium to other side of the membrane in exchange of 2 potassium. It as it uses ATP, it works against concentration of gradient of the cell. Now 3 sodiums are attached. Now the pump is flipped over and the sodiums are released on the other side of the cell and potassium attaches and flips over again. Now this is a cell membrane of the neuron. Now outside the cell there are more Na plus ions than inside the cell. And in case of potassium ion there are more potassium ion inside the cell than the outside of the cell. So in According to concentration gradient, sodium will flow from outside to inside and potassium from inside to outside. Now, in a human body, from brain due to um, endocrine system or from in signal of uh, external stimuli, it releases neurotransmitters like acetylcholine they will get attached to the neurons at the dendrite sites and the action propagation in starts. First, the depolarization occurs, that is the membrane is already polarized, that is negative inside and positive outside. Now, when depolarization occurs, the ligands, that is the neurotransmitters, attaches to the ligand-gated channel of the dendrites and opens the channels for sodium and calcium like negative positively charged ions and these positively charged ions get inside the cell and makes the inside of the cell more positive now this positivity propagates downwards of the neuron from the dendrite to the um, axon and this positively charged changes the voltage of the axon and the voltage gated channels for sodium are opened first and voltage gated potassium channels are not opened so quickly they will open after some time so through voltage gated sodium channels sodium ions that is positively charged ion gets inside the neuron and the inside of the neuron 
The myelinated area don't have voltage gated ion channels spanning the membrane so ions can simply flow into the cell. Charges propagating through the channels jumps from one node to the next. Sodium plus ions rush in and bump other positive ions already inside the cell which bumps other ones and the wave of positivity reaches the next node. The charge moving this way through myelinated area is really fast and called saltatory conduction which looks like action potential jumps from one node to another next node. push each other and flows the positive charge downwards. Next, when the positive charge goes through the axon and reaches the terminal position, the um, signal has propagated through the neuron. Now repolarization occurs, that is again the cell gets polarized that is becoming again negative inside and positive outside. How that happens? The voltage gated sodium channels are closed now, so no sodium inflow occurs but now the potassium channels are opened and potassium sodium pump are working. Potassium as concentrated inside the cell goes outside according to concentration gradient and these pumps that is mechanically gated pumps will pump three sodium from the from inside the cell to outside of the cell in exchange of two potassium more positive charge goes outside and less positive charge going inside again a recap a neuron the neurotransmitters will bind to the dendrites where the ligand gated channels are present these ligand gated channels will open and helps the inflow of the positively charged ions outside that is sodium which is concentrated outside will inflow into the neurons making the inside positive this positive voltage will open the voltage gated channels for sodium in the axon which will help in inflow of the sodium inside the axon now this will flow the positive the positive charge towards the end of the neuron when the charge is has flowed down that is the action potential has gone the mm, sodium channels are closed and potassium channels are opened as potassium is concentrated inside potassium will go outside that is releasing the positive charge from the inside and the sodium potassium pump will pump three sodium ion that is more more um, positively charged ion outside bringing in less positively charged that is 2 potassium instead of 3 sodium in exchange of 3 sodium ions thus releasing the positive charge from the from inside the cell and making the inside of the cell negative again if we plot the voltage against the time we will see when the all the gates are closed the membrane is in resting membrane potential that is minus 90 millivolt when the ligand gated channel started opening positivity increases and reaches threshold minus 65 to minus 55 when voltage gated channels open it reaches positive 35 to positive 40 millivolt and goes down when sodium channels are closed but potassium channels are opened and reaches hyperpolarized position that is minus 96 millivolt releasing more positive charge than needed and goes up again when all gates are closed again 
and reaches the resting membrane potential. At resting membrane potential, all the gates are closed. At threshold, only uh, sodium channels are uh, open. After reaching the peak, the sodium channel is closed and potassium are open. After hyperpolarization, all the channels are closed again.